Right, this is a lecture on matrices and forms, and it's on the Schler triangulation lemma. You might have also heard of it as the Schler uh, decomposition. And what it's saying is, well, here's the definition which you can use in the exam. It's that for all n by n complex matrices A, there exists a unitary matrix U, such that T equals U H, this is the uh, transpose contradict, times A times U is an upper triangle. So it will have values down the diagonal, have nothing below it, so all zeros there, but it could have numbers above it as well. So that is going to be this T. The U, this is a unitary matrix, so you could put UH. I prefer UH because it's easier. You can also, because it's unitary, UH is equal to U inverse. You could put U inverse there, but U inverse is a lot harder to work out, in my opinion. And uh, that's your, the matrix that you'll start off with. A, right, the method. Uh, I've tried the example that I've chosen. It didn't work out too nicely, but hopefully it'll make it easy to understand because it's a bit messy. Right, first method. You've got to find the eigenvectors of your matrix A. So you need the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors. Uh, next you want to apply the Gram-Schmidt. I, I think I've got a video on that somewhere. Uh, if not, I'll put a link somewhere. And you've got to do that to the vectors, so it makes them orthogonal. No, then you want to make them orthonormal, that's step three, which is you let each of the vectors that you found from the Grand Schmidt, you let them equal the vector, but you divide them by their norm. So that's where you square them, square each value, add them together, then square root them. So you divide it by that, so they'll all sum to one. And then you want to line them up like you normally do with vectors to make R U. And we can and you test it as well. Right, first. This is our example. We want to find the U to make the upper triangle T for this matrix here, which is a third, four two two, two seven four, two four seven. This is one from a past paper. It's I don't get the same unitary matrix, but it still works. So this is the matrix we've got. First thing we want to do is we want to find the characteristic polynomial so that we can find the eigenvalues, and this is the characteristic. We get four x minus four, x minus one squared. So we have eigenvalues four and one repeated. Next we want to find an eigenvector. So we're gonna subtract four from all of this. Now you see this you'll see this eight. 5 and 5. The mistake I made to begin with was that I let that stay was it was now into a 0. That is not right. This is actually 4 over 3. So 4 over 3 minus 4 is equal to minus 8 over 3. The same for the 5s. Then you get this, these equations. You solve them uh, by, well you can subtract one from here from the other and you get uh, that y is equal to z and then you can just sub some values in to get the last x that's what I did this next one we do the minus one so we get this matrix this time uh, then we'll get these equations here now for this one it's quite difficult because you've only got you've got the same matrix repeated because this one's two times this or this so I just guessed some values I gave x the value 2 to start off with and then I gave y the value 2 and then I worked out the corresponding z so that's given me a vector there then I, I, uh, once if you find you find that when you square it again this is just coincidence it won't always happen like this um, we get the same matrix again so we've got that one so I guess some other ones I'm going, again I started with 2 and because these values are the same we've got 2y plus 2z they're all pluses that means we can just reverse these and we've got the same uh, solution. So I've just reversed these here. Now these are our three vectors. So what we want to do is we want to do the ground schmidt So we let the first one equal as it is, one, two, two. Then we get the second one, which is two, two minus three, and we're going to put. We're going to use it with the dot product because it's a matrix. Two vectors. Sorry, do use a dot product. So the top one is this dotted with this, which gives us two plus 4 minus 6 which is 0 
so we don't we don't want to change that at all. This next one here, uh, two minus three two. Again, we're going to get a zero again because it's basically the same because of the two here, two here. So that would be two plus four minus six. So that gives a zero here. The seventeen under here. Remember, we're going to dot this with itself, so we get four plus nine plus four, which is seventeen. Then we're going to subtract. We're going to do uh, this dotted with this, which gives us four. Minus six, minus another six, which is minus eight, and then we're set again. It's just dotted with itself here, so it's seventeen here. So, and then we've got the matrix here. So now we can work out this. Subtract. We'll add eight over seventeen of two two minus three gives us this thing here, which doesn't look too nice. But this is starting to go where it gets a bit messy. Next thing we want to do is we want to make them orthonormal. So we've got u1 is equal to u1 over the norm of u1. So we've got u1, uh, in this case it's 3. So if we go back, we can see we get 1 squared is 1, plus 2 squared is 4, so we get 5, plus another 2 squared is 9, square root of 9 is 3. So that's what we divide by 3, so this is our new vector here. Our next one we want we end up dividing by root 17 because we've got 4 plus 4 plus 9 which is 17 square rooted so square root 17 this one is where it gets messy <coughs> 15 over root 17 because you've got all this messy stuff here but if you do want to calculate it, it will be correct so you square square that plus square that plus square that square rooted will give you 15 over 17 and then we'll get a lovely little thing here because we're dividing uh, all of these by square uh, what are we dividing by sorry uh, 15 over square root 17 so we're dividing each of them by that we get a, a, some lovely a lovely vector here of 10 over 3 root 17 minus 7 over 3 root 17 2 over 3 root 17 uh, on your calculator if you're actually doing this it will say root 17 over 51 I think instead of 1 over 3 root 17 uh, now if we stack these together then we're going to get this u here which is what we wanted in the final place so it, it didn't take that long it took a lot longer doing it off the slides <laughs> uh, but now we can test it as well so we're going to have our u transpose, which we just flip it over here, much easier than finding the universe, I'm sure you'll agree, times the a here, I just put the third in with all of it now, times this one here, which is just u, and this will give you the matrix 4, 1, 1. It's got the eigenvalues down the middle, and occasionally it will also have values up here as well, which means you've done it correctly, because we're just going to find, we're trying to find a big upper triangle. <coughs> um, the online matrix multiplier didn't actually manage to work this out, but I did it by hand on a calculator, and this is actually the correct answer. So I hope that hope that's helped.